So my name is John Warner and I'm from Boston and uh, my idea is that K-12 schools, uh, primary schools, that in addition to the teachers who teach the students, that a second shift of educators should come into those schools and share their passions, uh, teach from the textbooks of their lives, use the city as a classroom and teach 10-week apprenticeships to uh, these young people to help um, the students apply what they're learning during the day in math and, and reading and, and science to the real world and help kids uh, navigate life and, and set goals. And it's transformative both for the kids, it'll help them do better in school and see how, uh, how to do well in school, but also be transformative for the adults to share uh, with the kids. And I, uh, I see this as democratizing education. That instead of having a few people as teachers, a few union groups teach, uh, let's get all citizens um, to uh, help inspire. Let's get them off the sideline. Uh, and get them in, into kids' lives. Okay. Was that was that all right? Was that too long? No, it's not too long. It's a okay. great idea. So, uh, second idea. You ready? Yeah. So, uh, humans are pretty inefficient in terms of getting from one point to another. The most efficient animal is the condor. Uh, I think um, if you put a person on a bicycle, they become twice as efficient as the condor. I think more people should be biking. Uh, to get from uh, get around and uh, I think the bike is an amazing invention and given our energy issues why not burn uh, calories as opposed to fossil fuel all right I got a third idea you ready all right so the Rubik's Cube is really cool it can be in 48 quintillion different positions if you turn it every second of your life you'd have to live um, if you, if you live 90 years, you'd have to turn it two million times every second to experience all those positions. Uh, often when people pick up the Rubik's Cube, they're overwhelmed with trying to solve it. Uh, and you can't experience all the different positions. I think we've been seduced by language. We think in a very linear fashion. And when we draw things like a chair, we draw a symbol of a chair, not what we actually see. And that we should start thinking spatially. And that if all people had a Rubik's Cube and, and saw combinations and saw problem-solving techniques that the cube challenged,